okay uh, this question is the uh, basic question for uh, using the formula for the n term of a geometric sequence uh. all right so this question is asking to finding the ratio right uh, the common ratio the common ratio refer to r right uh, this is a clearly this is a geometric uh, sequence because you see that this number is multiplied by four right and this is also multiplied by four to getting one nine two it keep multiply four right so the common ratio for this case for this case you can just write 48 divided by 12 or you one nine two divided by 48 you will get four right or you can directly see that r is actually four so all right so then the question asks you to find the n term uh, the formula for n term for a geometric sequence is a r power of a n minus one right so i have uh, derived for you in the previous video so you have to see the derivation so that you understand better right why I apply this formula so if uh, the question asks you to find the tn for this uh, sequence so of course the first term uh, this is your first term right your a 12 12 multiply with r 4 right 12 4 power of n minus 1 right uh, this will be your n term this will be your n term of a geometric sequence right uh, so what is the usage of this n term right you can find for fourth term fifth term hundred term there are many terms right you see the number getting bigger and bigger right uh, getting bigger and bigger so but the question asking you to find the uh, is also asking you to find the uh, the ten term of each sequence so it means that the 10 term for this sequence, wow, are you going to multiply 4 up to the 10? So if you don't want, you can apply this formula, right? 12, 4 power of 10 minus 1. Ah, and you will get the uh, required value. So you have uh, 12 multiplied with 4 to the power of 9, right? 12 multiplied with 4 to the power of 9, which gives you... Uh, 3, 1, 4, 5, 7, 2, 8. Right? Uh, this will be your answer. So, same thing happened for, for this. It's also a geometric sequence. Why? Because you can see that they keep multiplying by negative 1 over 2. 8 divided by negative 2, you have negative 4. And if you multiply negative 1 over 2 again, uh, you will get negative 4, you have negative 2, you have positive 2. So clearly that your R is negative 1 over 2, right? Negative 1 over 2. So or you can take negative 4 divided by 8 or 2 divided by negative 4. So you will still get negative 1 over 2. And your first term for this case is 8, right? 8. Okay, I can uh, get the n term of the of this sequence of this geometric sequence the first term is 8 uh, and your common ratio formula right a r r is negative 1 over 2 power of n minus 1 right n minus 1 if you want to simplify this become 2 power of 3 index it's okay but to avoid maybe you if you are careless you don't do this okay uh, so you just leave it this in this form then you can use this one to find the 10 term, uh, the 10 term, which is negative 1 over 2. Sebutan ke 10 means 10 minus 1. Uh, so using calculator, you have 8, negative 1 over 2 to the power of 9, right? Negative 1 over 2 to the power of 9. So you have negative 1 over 64 as your 10 term, right? So if you uh, it, you can try to multiply negative one over two up to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the ten term will be negative one over sixty four all right uh, this is what it mean by this question all right uh, let's look at the uh, next example.